Hello YouTube, today we're talking about how to make bread without yeast. I'm going to show you how to make a simple sourdough culture from your own flour and water. That's it. You're going to contain it in a jar and you're going to multiply the natural yeast that occur in the flour. I'm going to give you a couple of tips to try to get it to boost off a little bit faster since we're in a I need it now situation. Uh, if you're like us, uh, your area has no bread in the store. I've heard people today say there's no yeast. The people are buying up all the yeast and they're even uh, have said that they've seen it on Amazon, a little container for the bread machine for $35, which is ridiculous. So I'm gonna give you a quick recipe. Um, if you have whole wheat flour, if you have a little bit of rye, you know, you've got some all-purpose bread flour, start you some sour sourdough. Uh, I feed it what I consider a very small quantity. A lot of the recipes out there are a lot larger, and you're pouring a lot of it out. Well, this is not a time that we want to waste anything, because we don't really know what's going to happen. We don't know what our situation is going to be with how this COVID-19 could affect us and our families in our area. So we don't want to use anything that we don't have to. We don't want to throw anything out that we don't need to because uh, we don't know if we're not going to need it. Um, this recipe, a daily feeding, is three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of water. Okay, but for the first time, if you have these ingredients available, this is going to start it a little bit faster for you. We're going to use three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of pineapple juice, a pinch of yeast. That's it. Then tomorrow, the second day, you'll add your three tablespoons of flour with two tablespoons of water. Mix it in. All this is mixed in the container that you're storing it in, so you're not going to have another container that you're using and pouring it in and all that. You can mix everything in the container you're using. Also, the water you need to use needs to be dechlorinated. If you don't have dechlorinated water, uh, leave a jar of water out overnight and let the chlorine and all that evaporate out of it. What I did when I started my sourdough is I used whole wheat flour, bread flour, and I used some rye. Uh, this is Bob's Red Mill rye. The whole wheat that I used was King Arthur. And I just wanted to increase my chances to get as much wild yeast as I could. So I used three different types of flours. Well, when I first made sourdough, it was probably three or four years ago. And you fed it larger quantities and you poured out a lot. And I don't want to waste any. So we're going to feed it only this amount daily. But if you need to make like bread tomorrow and then turn around the next day and make rolls you can increase the amount you're feeding it you can double this amount we're feeding you can multiply it by five you could even multiply it by ten if you wanted to uh, you know but to get it up to that if you kind of plan ahead if you know okay friday i'm going to need to make um, maybe hamburger buns and i know saturday i'm going to need to make bread uh, then by Monday, you know, from the weekend, I'm probably going to need to make bread again. So start doubling this after you get it going. Double it, and when you see that you're not going to need it for a few days, drop back to the single feeding. But I personally do the single feeding and use out of about every five to seven days. If you're going to go out of town, you're not going to be able to feed it, or if you just don't have anything going on for a week, feed it, stir it up, leave it set out on the counter for about an hour, put it in the refrigerator. That's all it takes. It'll stay kind of in a dormant stage because of being in the refrigerator, everything is slowed down. So it's not going to use as much of the sugars and all that are in the flour to make for the culture to really grow a whole lot. So once you get it out, if you left it in very long, you'll need to probably feed it a couple of times before it kind of bounces back. So all we're going to do right now is we're going to feed our starter daily by using three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of water until you start to see activity. You'll know that it's made a change by the smell of it. It's gonna have like a kind of a beer alcohol type smell. 
Uh, you'll also know because you'll start seeing the bubbles. If you'll see in the video, uh, my sourdough, like I said, it's three to four months old and it has a lot more activity, but you'll start seeing little small bubbles and your bubbles will get bigger and they'll spread out more throughout your starter dough. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you I will post some other videos showing you how to make other things like pizza dough. There's tons of recipes online, but I'll show you how I do it. Make pizza doughs, dinner rolls, bread. You can even make pancakes with this. Uh, the trick with the pancakes is you mix up your batter and you add your sourdough to it and you let it sit for about an hour before you use it. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, this is the Pressure Prepper. If you haven't joined my channel, do so by subscribing. Click on the little notifications bell so you get notifications of any new videos coming out. Stay tuned. We'll have more to help you out with your own sourdough culture so you won't even need to go buy any $35 yeast. Have a good day. Pressure Prepper, I'm out.